Hello guys and welcome back. So in this tutorial series, we're going to look at how to create a shopping list app using Jepa Compose and Room Databases. So in this video, we're going to start the introduction on how we can easily create this shopping list app. So we're going to use these powerful tools to create sleek and efficient user interfaces as well as how to store and retrieve data using room databases. By the end of this tutorial series, we will have a full functional shopping list app that you can customize and expand upon. So without any further delay, let's get started. Okay, so this is just a simple shopping application which we are going to be building. As you can see here, we have a list of data which we are going to be adding. So this data here can be easily added and removed. And as you can see here, we are going to be using room databases to store this data. And for example, here we can easily tick this. And basically this one is going to check that this is going to be finished. So for example, if we are finished to purchase these bananas, then we can easily check this. And also here you can just easily delete this data. So for example, when we come back here down, we can easily just delete this data and basically the data is going to be gone because we have swapped to delete. And also here we have a list of chips which we can easily use them to filter our data. So for example, we can just select these strings and basically here it's going to filter the data to give us only those are going, those are going to be using that particular tag. So for example, here's just strings. Or when we navigate here to vegetables, then it's going to remove other data which we have so for example we can just select electronics and as you can see this is just tagged in electronic category or we can easily just select none here and then we can just easily filter all of the data back to normal and when we want to enter data we can just easily click this plus button here to navigate to another screen that is going to help us to insert the data so for example here we have another data so let's assume here we want to add a watermelon and basically here we can just easily add a new store so for example when we click here we can just create here a new store so for example here we want to say treat market and basically we can just save this store and when we click this drop down here we are going to get this data so for example here we have the street market then we can just easily select this street market here and also we can add the quantity which we want so for example here we want five watermelons and when we click here, we can just easily select a date range which we want. So for example, we want to purchase this tomorrow. So we can just easily select this 21 here and click OK. And we can just easily select a category which we want. So for example, watermelon is going to be in a category of fruits. And when we click here, add item, this is going to be added automatically inside here. So when we navigate back here and filter our data with fruits, as you can see here, we have our watermelon. So this is how we are going to be easily adding data. So let's assume we want to update this particular data so we can easily click this. Then it's going to navigate back to this particular screen where we added and we can easily uh, change the particulars which we have entered. So for example, here in quantity, let's say we want only three right now and we're not going to purchase this from the street market. We can just easily select farmer's market here and click update item here then we are going to be updating our our data here as you can see now we have the quantity three and we are going to be selecting from the farmers market also this application supports both dark and light theme so for example here we can easily change back this to a dark theme so when you navigate here to settings we can easily change this back to a dark theme and when we navigate back inside our application as you can see here we have a dark theme and now let's filter this to back to none. As you can see here, we have designed this to accommodate both type of uh, themes. And for example, when we navigate to this screen, also we can just easily. So this is just how we can easily create this application using Jepa Compose together with the room databases. So before we start to write our code, we should have a common starting point. And for this case, you have to import the GitHub project from the link provided in the description box below so you can navigate here inside the file and click new and then you can easily navigate here to project from version control system and when you click here you will pass in the url which is provided in the link in the description box and for this case here you can just easily click clone here and the application is going to be cloned and then we can easily get started now let's see the things which i have changed and added throughout this project so when you navigate here inside the theme the first thing here i have changed the theme so for example here i have changed the colors 
so the colors are going to be matching this particular type so you can just easily get these colors here and also inside here a shape i have changed this large here to include this particular 28 dp and you can just easily see it there also i have added another project file which is just a utility file which is going to contain us with categories which we are going to be using to filter our data so for example here drinks vegetables together with their icons which are just provided here when you navigate inside a resource so you can navigate here inside a resource manager and you can see here we have several things which we are going to use them inside our project and let's navigate back here inside our project so another thing which is just really important here is our build.credo file so when you navigate here to our build.credo file module app so you can see here i have added several types of dependencies so for example here we have added the navigation compose the compose view model and also the room databases which are going to be used inside our application also i have added here the kotlin cut so as you can see here we have this to use the annotation processing for room databases and also here i have added this free compile ads which is going to help us when we are writing our view model factories so we're going to see this when we actually write our code so guys let's leave it here for this video so in the next video we're going to start to write our code and build our application so if you find this video helpful don't forget to provide a like and subscribe for more videos so see you in the next video bye bye for now